Hey guys, it's Clara from Online Fabric Store. Cloaks are an essential part of many cosplay and Halloween costumes, whether you're a wizard, elf, or any of a wide array of period characters. It just so happens in middle school, I may have, on occasion, worn a cloak that I made, which I thought was pretty awesome. So if you're someone who wants to wear one in your everyday life, I say go for it. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are an outer fabric, I'm using cotton twill, lining, I'm using satin fabric, a hook and eye or other closure, thread, a hand sewing needle, a fabric marker or chalk, a measuring tape, scissors, pins, and an iron. This pattern can be adapted to kids and adult sizes. First, measure how long you want the cloak, so from about the collarbone to just above the floor, or however long you want it. I'm 5'6", and that's about 53 inches for me. Add an inch for seam allowance and five inches to account for the neckline. This is the total length. Make sure both fabrics are at least that wide. 60 inches is a common width for apparel fabrics. If your total length is longer than 60 inches, not to worry, there's another way you can cut out the pieces. For child sizes, you can use narrower fabrics. The amount of fabric needed is your total length times three. For me, that's 53 plus 1 plus 5 equals 59 times 3 equals 177. To figure out how many yards that is, divide by 12 for feet, then divide by 3 and round up. That's 5 yards for me. You may have to add an extra yard for the hood. So I need 6 yards of both the outer fabric and the lining fabric. Starting with the outer fabric, measure twice the total length and cut. Fold the fabric in half widthwise. Now fold it diagonally so the selvage edge meets the fold. Measure out from the corner 59 inches, or whatever your total length is, and mark with a fabric marker or chalk. Move the end of the measuring tape in and mark so it creates a curve. Now mark the neckline the same way, going out 5 inches. This is a medium neckline. You can choose a smaller or larger radius for different sizes. Cut out the fabric on the lines. When unfolded, you should have a semicircle. I'm going to cut two more pieces to make it 3 quarters of a circle. Cut another piece of fabric to your total length measurement. Fold it in half diagonally. Mark and cut the same way as before. Cut this piece in half along the fold. Repeat these steps for the lining fabric. Here's how to cut the pieces if your total length is longer than the width of your fabric. Start by folding the fabric in half lengthwise. On the fold line, measure your total length. Make a curve from your mark. Mark a second piece right next to the first so the tip of the piece starts where the curve of the first piece ends. Mark a radius of 5 inches for the neckline on both pieces. Cut out the pieces. You'll have a large piece and two smaller pieces. Repeat this two more times. The longer the cloak, the narrower the pieces. You may or may not need one or two of the smaller pieces. When getting the fabric, an extra yard might be necessary for large cloaks. Pin and sew all the outer fabric pieces together with a half inch seam allowance. The smaller pieces should go on the ends. Iron the seams open. Do the same for the lining pieces. Put the outer and lining pieces together with right sides facing. Pin around the bottom and sides.
Sew with a half inch seam allowance, leaving the neckline open. Turn the cloak right side out. Iron the edges flat. You can choose to top stitch around the edges if you want. There are many different shapes and sizes you can make the hood. Start by wrapping the measuring tape over the top of your head to see how loose you want it. I want mine fairly loose, so about 38 inches. Divide this in half and this is your hood height. Now that the cloak pieces are together, you can tell exactly how long the neckline is. Divide this measurement in half for the bottom of the hood. Add an inch for the seam allowance. Fold a piece of the outer fabric. I'm going to position the hood so the fold is at the top so there won't be a seam. Mark the height and bottom of the hood. The shape of the back is totally up to you. It can be as simple as a rectangle, which will give it a small point at the back. I'm going to curve the back and bring it out further than the neckline to make it larger. Or you can make an exaggerated point. Cut out the hood. Use this as a template to cut out a piece of the lining fabric. Pin and sew the back of the outer fabric with right sides facing. Do the same for the lining. Pin the front edges of the outer and lining fabric together with right sides facing. Sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the hood right side out and iron the front. Pin the necklines of the outer fabric of the cloak and hood together with right sides facing. Sew with a half inch seam allowance. Fold in the edges of the hood and cloak linings and pin. Sew together with a hidden stitch. Finally, sew on a hook and eye closure at the top of the front. Sew the hook part onto the back of one of the edges, making sure not to sew through to the front. Then sew the other piece onto the front of the opposite side. You could also use a frog closure, a button, or ties. And that's it, the cloak's finished. Here at OFS, we're going to our first Comic-Con soon, and I'll be wearing this cloak. Stay tuned to find out who I'm going to be and to see all our completed costumes. Thanks for watching this OFS project.